Good morning. My name is Matthew Nikoloff. I'm the pastor and the mission developer here at the Southwedge Mission in Rochester, New York. And on half of the uh, Synod COVID response team, I'm really excited to welcome you into the Abide small group ministry today. You're about to embark on a six-week journey with um, some new companions, maybe folks you've never met before, uh, to explore what it means to abide, to abide in Christ uh, during a time of isolation and separation, to explore new connections and to share in communion with one another, not the kind that we uh, uh, eat and drink or the kind that we get to share when we sing together on Sundays, but it is a communion where we share our hearts, where we make present to one another um, the presence of God in our lives and in the world around us. That's an amazing gift that we can give to one another over these next six weeks. It might not seem like a lot, just gathering together, um, sharing from our hearts, listening deeply to others, and yet, as uh, Father Richard Rohr says, God often comes disguised to us as our lives. Uh, like this image behind me of the Holy Trinity, if you'll remember the story, God showed up in Abraham and Sarah's lives, not as a burning bush or a flash of lightning or as a uh, communion wafer, but as travelers in need of companionship, in need of care, in need of hospitality. And un unwittingly, Abraham and Sarah welcome God without knowing it. They heard this crazy promise about maybe having a child when they were beyond the age of having children, and they even laughed at that. But it didn't stop that promise from taking root and bearing fruit in their lives and ultimately um, kicking off the entire family of faith of which we're still a part. And I really believe that God has been and is and will continue to show up in the midst of our everyday life. So when we show up to our meetings over the next six weeks, even if the particular topic of that day doesn't really uh, uh, jive with us, it's not something that we're excited about, just bringing our listening attention, bringing our wholehearted participation and sharing um, authentically and genuinely from our experience without having to have the right answers or to give any right answers, but just witnessing to what is moving within us through the Spirit. You might be helping to uh, declare a promise to somebody. You might be giving birth to some new promise in the world that you're not even aware of. You might laugh at something and make, think it's a little ridiculous or a little uncomfortable, but all of that, all of that life happening is part of the body of Christ, part of the communion of the Holy Spirit that is not just happening on buildings on Sundays, but is always alive and active and animating and healing and co-creating in the world. By participating in these groups, you are practicing an act of healing an act of hope, and an act of mending, as well as, I hope, deriving a lot of comfort, community, communion, and growth. So again, welcome to Abide. Uh, be open to the presence of the Trinity dwelling in the midst of your life and in the places where you work and play and love and struggle. And I can't wait to hear at the end of the six weeks uh, how that experience was for you, what you discovered uh, waiting in the midst of your life, who you met and who you connected with, and uh, how it has made an impact in the relationships that you have in the world around you. Thank you for being part of God's healing and co-creating of this world that God loves so much. Have a great six weeks. God bless.